Hello friends, this is Swarupa. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will explain about the Mixed Constraints Linear Programming Problem. In the previous video, I have already explained Maximization Linear Programming Problem and Minimization Linear Programming Problem. If you want that videos, I will give the link in the description. You can watch there. And in this video, I am going to explain Mixed Constraints Linear Programming Problem. That means here the, the constraints are not having same sign. Here uh, first, first constraint is having less than or equal to. Second constraint is having greater than or equal to. And third constraint is having greater than or equal to. That means mixed constraints are there in this problem. So let us see how to solve this problem. Given objective function is in minimization. Minimize z equals to 20x1 plus 10x2 subject to x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equals to 40, 3x1 plus x2 is greater than or equals to 30, 4x1 plus 3x2 is greater than or equals to 30, 60, where x1 and x2 is greater than or equals to 0. We have to convert these three uh, constraints into equalities. This is equation 1, this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. From the first equation, x1 plus 2x2 is equals to 40. We have to assume x1 is 0 and we have to find out the x2 value. When x1 is equals to 0, x2 is equals to we have to find out. 0 plus 2x2 is equals to 40. 2x2 is equals to 40. x2 is equals to 40 by 2. x2 is equals to 20. x1 comma x2 values are 0 comma 20. From equation 1. x1 plus 2x2 is equals to 40 when, it, when x2 is equals to 0 we have to find out x1 value x1 plus 2 into 0 equals to 40 x1 is equals to 40 x1 comma x2 is 40 comma 0 from equation 2 3x1 plus x2 is equals to 30 we have to assume x1 is equals to 0 and find out x2 value 3 into 0 plus x2 is equals to 30 x2 is equals to 30 x1 comma x2 or 0 comma 30 from equation 2 3x1 plus x2 is equals to 30 when x2 is equals to 0 x1 is we have to find out that x1 value 3 in 3x1 plus 0 equals to 30. 3x1 is equals to 30. x1 is 10. x1 comma x2 values are 10 comma 0. From equation 3. 4x1 plus 3x2 is equals to 60. When x1 is equals to 0, x2 is we have to find out. 4 into 0 plus 3x2 is equals to 60. 3x2 is equals to 60. x2 value is 20. 
x1 comma x2 or 0 comma 20 from equation 3 4 x1 plus 3 x2 is equals to 60 when x2 is equals to 0 x1 is equals to we have to find out 4 x1 plus 3 into 0 equals to 60 4 x1 is equals to 60 x1 is 15 x1 comma x2 or 15 comma 0 these are the six corner points we have to plot in the graph this is x1 axis this is x2 axis this is origin 0 comma 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 from equation 1 0 comma 20 and 40 comma 0 from equation 2 0 comma 30 10 comma 0 from equation 3 0 comma 20 15 comma 0 these are the points we have to plot in the graph now first 0 comma 20 in x1 0 and in x2 20 0 comma 20 next 40 comma 0 40 comma 0 we have to join these two points this is from equation 1 this is from equation 1 from equation 2 0 comma 30 0 comma 30 and 10 comma 0 10 comma 0 this is from equation 2 from equation 3 0 comma 20 and 15 comma 0 And how we have to find the feasible region means we have to check the given uh, constraints for the first equation it is given uh, less than or equals to so we have to uh, plot below the line less than here less than is there so we have to plot below the line for first equation we should plot below the line This is equation 3. We have plotted be, uh, below the first equation because in the first equation, in the first constraint, it is uh, given that less than or equals to. For the second con for the second equation, it is given greater than or equals to. So we have to plot above the second line. 
this is the second line so we have to plot above this is above and this is below and for the third equation it is given greater than or equals to so for the equation 3 we have to plot above the line this is the third for that we should plot above the line in this region it satisfies only the second equation the first equation so we should uh, remove this here it satisfies only second equation so we should erase this and here it satisfies only two equations and one equation is not satisfied so we should erase this part also is called the feasible region because it satisfies all the given three constraints this is a b c and d a is a points are called 15 comma 0 and b points are called see the intersection here 6 comma 12 and c points are called 4 comma 18 d is called 40 comma 0 and we have uh, find out all these uh, uh, points a b c d so we have to substitute these uh, four points in the given objective function a 15 comma 0 b 6 comma 12 c 4 comma 18 and d 40 comma 0 the given objective function is minimize z equals to 20 x1 plus 10 x2 z of 15 comma 0 is equals to 20 into 15 plus 10 into 0 is equals to 300 plus 0 equals to 300 z of 6 comma 12 20 into 6 plus 10 into 12 is equals to 120 plus 120 equals to 240 z of 4 comma 18 is equals to 20 into 40 plus 10 into 0 equals to 800 plus 0 equals to 800. Z of 40 comma. Here sorry here for 260. 40 comma 0. 20 into 40 plus 10 into 0 equals to 800 plus 10 into 0 equals to 800. Here the objective function is in minimization. So we have to find the least value among these. Here this is the least value. So the minimum value of this objective function uh, z uh, equals to 20x1 plus 10x2 occurs at the extreme point uh, z of b. 
so the optimal solution to the given problem is x1 comma x2 points are 6 comma 12 and z of optimum is equals to 240 so this is the way to solve the given uh, minimization problem in this way only the maximization problem also we have to solve the process is same for the maximization uh, problem but the only thing is uh, we have to check here for mag for maximization problem we have to check the uh, maximum value that is 800 here the mini objective function is minimization so we, uh, we have find out the minimum value when it is in maximization we will find out the maximum value this is about the graphical method in the next video i will discuss about the simplex method if you like this video please subscribe my channel